Hey guys, it's Jesse here with Jarus Knives and Designer for K-Bar. Wanted to talk to you a little bit today about the new K-Bar Jarus Turok. The Turok is made in the USA and comes in this Celcon sheath, which I'm going to talk about in just a moment. But first I want to talk to you about the knife. The Turok features a six and a quarter inch blade made from 1095 Crow Van steel and is 3 sixteenths of an inch thick. It has a false edge, which can serve a number of purposes. You can either sharpen it, leave it plain, add serrations, or like I did on my personal Turok, remove the coating and uh, put a 90 degree edge on there so that you can use it to scrape your ferro rod or make shavings from wood, stuff like that to start fires. The knife features an ultra mid handle, which you can see is nicely textured and secured by these two Allen key bolts. The fully contoured handle lends itself to a number of different grips and gives the user a solid purchase on the knife at all times. The Celcon sheath maintains solid retention at all times even without the button snap engaged. With a simple push of the thumb on the sheath, the knife is disengaged and ready for action. The belt loop system for the Turok sheath can be easily removed or switched to left or right hand carry in a matter of seconds by simply undoing the Velcro strap. The Velcro straps and belt loop are made from heavy duty nylon which ensures that the loop never comes loose from your knife when you don't want it to. When using the Turok in a hip carry, it's not always necessary to use the button snap to secure the knife in the sheath. The Celcon sheath does a good job of retaining the knife at all times but with a simple push of your thumb, the knife is ready to use. This makes it convenient around camp or when you frequently need your knife and you don't want to mess with unbuttoning the knife all the time to use it. Just by simply using your sharpening stones, you can easily remove the coating on the spine of the knife or the false edge. And actually, you can make it have more than a 90 degree angle so it's just a little bit sharper. It makes it really good for making shavings using with your ferro rod and stuff like that.